Hello guys, so I've never really done a vlog, so this is going to be my first vlog, a day in my life, and yeah, let's just get into it. Usually my life is pretty boring, but today I have errands to run, so I'm going to take you with me and we'll see what I do. Alright, but before we really get into it, let's just take a moment. The sun is beaming, it's beautiful, mm -mm -mm. it's been raining for the week and today is finally a good day first i had to pick out an outfit because i like to do that really early because if it gets late then i don't find what i'm looking for i'm gonna pick out something and then i'm not gonna like it so i think this top's gonna be good i haven't worn this in a while and it's not cold today bless Okay, this shirt, pants. Let's see what pants. Yeah, we got the, what are these? The Hollister. Mm-mm-mm. I'll see what I'm going to do with that. And then now I'm going to clean a little bit because it's looking messy in here. <laughs> cockroaches or any of that in your room. I'm scared of cockroaches, y'all. Very scared. Very, very, very scared of cockroaches. <laughs> I see one. I'm gone. I'm gone. How many Sagittarius have purple as their favorite color? If you're a Sagittarius, comment down below if your favorite color is purple. Because I know too many. I know too many. And Loki, actually, comment down what sign you are. Well, it's getting about that time, so I'm going to change real quick, and we'll go from there, call my Uber, and then head to the doctor's office. So we're going to do a little, I'm going to try that cool thing where you just do like that, and then you just show them your outfit. <laughs> and I actually decided on this shirt instead of the red, because if I wear red, it's not going to match with my lips, and I'm wearing Fenty. I think it's unbothered or unveiled, one of the two, but mm, 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 I love this lip color. And then my jeans. I still don't know what shoes I'm going to wear, but I'll decide that in a second. Y'all, you know what I hate? When you put deodorant on before you wear your shirt and then you get all deodorant stains on it. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. So, some last minute touches before I leave. I'm going to use my multi gosher curls. I really recommend this if you want some curls. Put a little bit in my hand. I might a little more. And you just kind of want to sp sponge it up. And actually, I take the bag. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain, so I put an umbrella in my bag just in case. Hey, y'all, so I'm about to call my Uber, and I just wanted to show y'all my room real quick. I cleaned it to the best of my abilities until I come back, <laughs> I guess. Don't judge. The nice thing, you know, you got to have that water bottle. If you don't have a water bottle in your nice tan, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got to have the water bottle bottle, because in the middle of my, you're like, go, go. yep. And then the bed, I got my iPad charging over there. And my little ear. All right, y'all. So I made it. It's crowded in here, so I'm not gonna record too much. But yeah, I made it. I'm at the doctor's office. I'm here. You know, do what you gotta do. So I made it just in time. I got. I'll give you the back story later because it's loud. So. All right, y'all. So you know, I'm a fat ass. So now I'm at Whataburger. Oh. Let me tell you about my Uber ride, y'all. Mm, oh my God. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I'm super paranoid right now because of all the sex traffic and stuff. I'm super paranoid, y'all. I really am. I went out. I'm a homebody, so I really don't go out much. I really don't. And if you know me, you guys know that that's really true. So I went out the other day to take pictures. To 
post on Instagram. And I was so paranoid, guys. I was looking everywhere. And I just felt like like I'm being paranoid for no reason. But everything just looks so sketch, you know? I don't know. You, you can never be too careful. So, anyways, back to the story about the Uber. Um, so, I just have my alert up since all the sex trafficking. And, um... The Uber picks me up, it's this lady. And before I even get in the car, I was just gonna screenshot to my boyfriend so he knows. If I get kidnapped, you get him. So, I sent another screenshot, whatever. I get in the car with a lady. And usually you think, um, at least this is what girls think. Oh, it's a girl. I feel a little more safe because it's a female. This is not the case. Mm -mm. She was scaring me, bro. She was grooming. As soon as I got in the car, she was like, oh, I like your hair. And she started asking me questions about my hair, which I don't mind. That's fine. But she didn't continue the ride. Like, she parked her car to talk to me. And then, I was getting, like, sketched. I was about to tell my boyfriend and be like, yo, this is off. But then she started moving. And then that was fine. But then she took like the long way to get to the doctor's office, which is probably not her fault. But I don't like I don't have the roads memorized, and I'm trying to look where I'm going. And it's just like it's taking forever to get there. I'm like, oh my god! And like we're in the back way, and we're by some houses. I was thinking, oh my god, she's gonna kidnap me. She's gonna kidnap me, take her to her house. Oh my god! And it was just awkward. Like, honestly, that's why I just, that's why I need a car. It's just weird. Like, at the end of the day, it's weird. Man, if we got to stop taking Ubers, you guys know it's expensive. Hell of money for no reason. Like, when I think about it, like, honestly, a 10-minute ride is 15 minutes, and that's not me, that's not even me capping. So, with that being said, I could put that money into gas money that could last me all week in a car that I would have. You see what I'm saying? There's no logic to that, so I really need a car. So I just been thinking about just taking that alone, and I just might do that. I'm tired of saying things and not doing it. I really might do that because that's something I need, especially where I'm at. Mm -mm. I need a car. Oh, another thing. When I got to the doctors, I went to the doctors yesterday, actually. So today. I want to get a referral because they apparently have a new room where you can't get a referral on the same day as your appointment, which is like, what? Anyways, that's more money out of my pocket. I get there and the lady was like, oh, she, the doctor says she doesn't have any referrals. I said, what? I went up for her. I said, um, well, can you please go up and check, out, check with her? Because I talked to her. We had a whole conversation about the referrals. Like, it's the whole reason why I even went. Well, I think the system is so messed up. Like, you gotta go make a whole doctor's appointment. Then they get your bread out of that. Then you get a referral. Like, what if it's an emergency and you really need to go to this place that you need a referral for? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it takes so much money from your pocket. You think they would have found the cure for cancer by now? And I'm telling you they have, but hey, I've said too much already. I decided to treat myself today since I'm running errands and I haven't had coffee in about a week. <laughs> in about a week, I need my fix. So I'm gonna walk to Starbucks, which is not far. All right, look at this. If you wanna, if you want me to put you on, get the white chocolate frappuccino. White chocolate frappuccino and and always get the biggest size because I'm telling y'all, it's a finesse thing. It's a finesse. Y'all, the taquerias are expensive as fuck. Get you a food truck, one dollar tacos, they smack. Don't sleep on the food trucks, y'all. Don't sleep on the food trucks. But anyways, I'm gonna head over to Marshall, y'all. So, I made it to Marshall's and we're gonna see what goodies they have. Guys, these are so cute. Every time I come to Marshall, I'm like, damn, I can't wait to get at home and decorate. These are cute. Some of these are basic, but some of these are cute, though. And affordable. Oh, and a nice new purse. Let me look at these purses. This one is calling my name, but I already know it's expensive. You know it's expensive when it has this on it. 
For all the girls, they always have some good makeup here too. And pretty affordable. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty good. They got cover girl, all kinds of stuff. And now I've never seen this one. I don't know if it's here. But it's quite one more time. An overview of me. Looking tall. You know, this is my section. <laughs> I love comforters. I think there's a turning point in your life when you turn when you're in college when you turn like 19 and you're just in love with furniture and all that. It's crazy how it shifts from dumb stuff to house stuff. Alright y'all. I just got done with Marshalls and it looks like it's gonna rain now and that's why I have my umbrella with me. But I was gonna go to HEB, but honestly, I have so much stuff that I just can't. But I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and see what's up there. And then I'm done because Y'all know me, y'all know. I just be store hopping and just going to a bunch of stores. But if it's gonna rain, I'm good. I do not wanna get caught in the middle. Look at that. I'm not gonna get caught in the middle of this. No, no, no. Now, I, I look, you think I felt a drop, so. Yeah, wish me luck. All right, show them at the dollar store. They got a bunch of Valentine's Day things making people feel sad as fuck. But it's looking cute. Honestly, y'all, if y'all wanna get a DIY and be bougie on a budget, one of these guys use them in the bathroom, girl. No one's gonna notice. It's probably a dollar, so. This is a nice little idea. I haven't seen this in a long time. I don't know if Americans do this, but when I was little and I was in school, they would give you stickers and it would feel so good when you got a sticker. This is such a mood. Just a coloring book. Let's get a coloring book and color together. For real though, look at all these beautiful coloring books. Or a puzzle. <gasps> what? Oh, and they got the hook up for St. Patrick's Day. Oh yeah. If you guys want to get any ideas, y'all can check out my Pinterest and I have a whole pin thingy for St. Patrick's. This is dope though. It'll be affordable makeup. Wow. I heard that um nail polish remover cleans your shoes. Now I don't know if that's true, but ew. let me show you what I got. Um, I got two sets of pillows because honestly, I felt like I needed it for $20 Calvin Klein. I'll let y'all know if they're comfortable later. And then my sheets are getting old, so I decided to get all those sheets for $20. Then the rest for Marshalls, I got this purse because honestly, you guys know me, I love purse. I think this was, how much was this? This was $25. And I think it was really much, very worth it. And I got new slippers, so time to say goodbye to these because y'all can see they're very, very worn out. <laughs> okay, then after that, I went to the dollar store and I got this case for a dollar. This foot thing very much needed because my feet are crusty, trust me. Then I got baking soda to clean shoes and other stuff. Guys, I must be on crack or something. What? Why did I get too... <sighs> My mind is elsewhere. I totally... Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? But hey, this is the crazy thing. This was a dollar and this was $10. I mean, you get three. I do not go anywhere without slippers around this house because that's nasty. Y'all would know if y'all lived in like a an apartment that's not just yours otherwise. I mean, I would still actually wear slippers no matter what, but these are so cute. I'm obsessed. These are cute. Ooh, let me walk around. <laughs> these are fancy. Hey, you guys, I'm going to teach y'all a little hack since we're doing this so i'm doing with this air wick right i had to open this i wish i had shown y'all but basically what i did is i got my scissors and just kept pulling at it and i got it out and you know they're trying to finesse so do you know they get the trying to finesse let you spend like five dollars on these when all you need is some fabuloso just some fabuloso or whatever you want to put in there that's gonna make this little thingy smell good this is the part that goes out this is the part that goes in I'll show y'all serious guys we all need ways to save money honestly because this whole world is a big finesse so not gonna finesse me <laughs> finesse you right back all right so i'm gonna put however much i think is fine i think 
that's pretty good. I want to put it all the way to the top. And then, boom. Pop it back in there. Here, like a little snappy thingy on there. Just like, make sure. Oh, y'all heard that loud little snap? Boom. It's really secured in there. And then, you set. Let me get the thing. So this one, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is Airwick. And then, boom, you're set, plug it into the wall, and let me know if you think it smells good or even better than that original Airwick. Alright, y'all, so after all that, clean my room, put everything up, because that's what I like to do, I can't. I can't do all that messy stuff. I will take off my earrings and any jewelry I've put on for the day. Put them in my little box. So that's what I'm going to do. I actually have a lot of necklaces that are tangled. And I want to go somewhere to get them untangled. Especially this one necklace that I've never worn, guys. I've never worn. And it's like tangled and broken. It sucks. It really sucks. So I need to go do that. But you know, it's like little things like that that you will forget. But they put it on my uh, reminders. So I don't know about y'all, but my best way to remember things is through my phone and through the reminders. I can't keep up with a calendar. I've been looking at so many calendars recently, you know, it's kind of catching my attention because, you know, school's about to start and all that. But I know realistically me, I can't do calendars. For some reason, the phone is better for reminders with me because my phone's always going to be with me. Think about it. It's always with you. So... I always look at my phone reminders, it works perfectly, and you can check off a little thing when you're done with the task. It feels good, and you can always go back and look at the completed task just in case you decide, oh, didn't complete, because that, that's happened to me before, so. I think it's nice. Y'all know the drill. Save your money all the time. Can't play around and buy junk food outside. And if y'all say anything about Whataburger, I got that off of, um, what's it called, a reward, so it was free. That's why I told y'all, get that app. So yeah, I'm gonna go um, make a pizza. So we don't have a dining table in the living room because the living room is so tiny in this apartment. So I just I always just set up before the food is ready. So I get my handy dandy chair. You can get this from Walmart, IKEA, anywhere. I got it from Walmart for like seven dollars. So it was clutch all right you guys so it's the next day i'm sorry i forgot to close out the vlog but i just remembered and i just wanted to say thank you for watching if you made it all the way this far i'm on my way to work right now hopefully you guys can hear me and the wind is not too crazy and yeah just have a good day and more videos coming soon hopefully thinking about doing um a uh, haul look close so we'll see